Say something. Something. <laughs> They're going crazy. I like this one. Crazy. All right, let's get these to the lake. Where are the second biggest? I don't know. Take it out, dude. Oh, look at the catfish. You can have the catfish. So what is those? Those are the grass yeah. carp. We got four grass carp. Wait, is there more catfish? These are the catfish. Oh, these are oh. And those are the bluegills. These are a lot of bluegills. And we got some, uh, what are these bass? Little fingerling bass. All right, let's go check out the pond. So we uh, just picked up some fish from the hatchery and we're gonna do a little test run, but the pond has filled up. It just needs a little bit more cleaning. So we're gonna spend today cleaning some of this up. Can float away and then go in the kayak. Mm. Oh, that's smart cookie you so we're gonna let these uh, sit in water for about a half an hour and we're gonna go get some stuff ready we're gonna get the kayak out and start hooking to some of these logs to pull them out of the water so these are the bird seed they're hot seed right get it up there so it has like chili pepper or something on them and the birds love it but the squirrels hate it good because the squirrels uh, old hickory we have here and we got to get some more trees more um, bird houses that we found a rare bird on my hmm. they went so crazy yeah broke my stick they will they want to get out of there all right, we got to get the kayak ready. Jake, come. So while we're waiting here, Jess is <laughs> out in the pond enjoying using the kayak. Um, but Phoebe and Jay got, hold on, a little guy. Where do you guys get them? From over, from over there, there where all the babies go. Wow. They said that this this one still has a tail. So. It looks like it at least. Nope, it does. That's pretty cool. He's still growing out of his tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hook it around it like this. Okay. I gotta find our toe strap. Actually, it would be a lot easier. What do you need me to do? Pull you in? No. I was leaving that there for a I'm going to put this right in the middle, right? Yeah. I'm going to have to wrap it around it. No. I left the baby. So it's been 15, almost 15 minutes since we put the fish in the water. We're going to wait another five and then we'll come back while Jess is out there picking up her sticks. I'm going to go get everything ready. Oh, there's a lot of these. Huh? Oh, wait, actually, never mind. I, I looked at the bottom and at the top. I sprayed it pretty good in here. Last time I was here, I got stung by a wasp and dropped everything, as you can see. 
All right. I was about to say, I can't get the bag open. All right, let's see if we can get a... Oh, these are the bluegill. No. Got some uh, little babies. Really Put him in. He'll be the first fish. Quick. <laughs> first uh, fish. Where'd he go? I have no idea. He just Probably slipped out of my hand when I tried to throw him in. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Hold on. I'm excited. Guy caps his moment. Jay, record that. Oh, all the fish are gone. Almost. We got one dead fish. Why are you dying? I don't know, he's laying right here though. Claustrophobia, probably. He's been dead for a minute. Oh, he'd be alive? Is he alive? Is it like... water? No, it's just a bumpy ride for him. Oh, you see all the frogs jumping? They're like, what the heck? Yeah. The fish are all... Already. You're, I already see one this way over there. Spinning. Now we can go fishing. See how these do. All right, you ready? Yeah. Yep. Be free. I see them all. Yeah. There we are. You see them? I see them. You don't see anything if you don't. I see them. I see nothing. I just see them. Make sure we ain't got one in the bag. That would be horrible. These are the catfish. All right. Yeah. Kitty whiskers. They're the cool fish, as I'm gonna call them. What? The cool fish? Yeah. These are the ones that have the spikes on them. Yeah. The ones that try to hit you. Like yeah. Dad, it's just smelling in the water. Well, there's some like right here. Yeah, there we go. There's a nice one. So we got channel cat. We got six of these. Six? Yep. Just to help our pond, right? No. Any, Any fish in the bag? Nope. nope. Yeah. No more fish. And now the three carps are two. All know. right. So these are the grass carp. There. These have to be eight inches. That's pretty big. These are gonna help with. See that green little dots? Yeah. Those, that's duckweed. It's gonna help with stuff like that in here. They're gonna oh. eat it on the bottom. And we got a whole bunch of. Oh, it's so like the out. So catfish like coming like... up. They're already eating. They're Having a field day. Eight. <laughs> all right so these are what is going in here these are a great uh, uh, fish for vegetation they eat just about everything but and they help clean out the pole or the, You're the pond. Yeah, yeah, you probably put it in before you drown it's in air look at them Oh crap, the, the water the thing. <laughs> and these should be cool because they will. Mom, we need help over here. Help. These will uh, cruise and you'll just see them cruising across. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to try to get them to jump in. You got them. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Oh crap, no, no, he's escaping. And he's gone. And he's, gone. No, he's right there. He's not. Damn, he's going back gone. up. Oh, now he's gone. We're going to take that hose off, attachment off, take the green hose off, and we're going to start to pump up. And we're going to use that jet to push all of this um, weed over to the other side where we can scoop it out with the net. Little multi tool. All right, you ready? Get it out to the middle. I can't it. Put it in the. There you go. 
think we're gonna create some form of fountain with this now with the idea the concept run something under the water so we can just hook it up to a hose and it will whenever we want a, a fountain we'll put the, the generator over there and hide it have the fountain going Mom, and I'm gonna turn it up. I built this contraption last year with Jacob. It was a duckweed net that if we threw it out there, we could reel it in, it had a metal bar. What if you take this out there across the thing and I can pull it in and pull in all these loose sticks? Try that. We got a whole bunch. You can keep on going a little farther if you want to. one yeah it's working it's just not you know when we were first putting it together it seemed like it was like long enough and now that you throw it in the pond and it like nothing and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go grab um a rake and we're just gonna rake it and pull it up onto the side oh which side's been done what side hasn't so i think we're done uh for just for now, I guess maybe she might get back in, but uh, a lot of this bigger stuff, most of this is tractor worthy. Again, that's all the junk we pulled out now. So we'll turn on the pump. Maybe sit back, enjoy water. Maybe go on a air condition, which happens to be the four wheeler. Take four wheel ride down the road. and look around see if we can't find any fish it's pretty cool So we're just about done. Jay's getting the rest of the trash. 
that stuff will be picked up when Jess comes back to the front. Alright, cool. Well, that is it. Thanks for watching. A little bit different video than what I normally put out, but this is basically what happens just about every day. Uh, we're going to head out a little early, and we're coming up early next week to get ready for the 4th of July party, so that should be pretty cool. Make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss a video in the future. we got a lot going on. we got food plots in the back for deer. we got uh, lane cutting, changing around some stands, uh, some landscaping stuff. Uh, more pond stuff. We got more pond stuff coming up and just all around uh, trail maintenance and all kinds of stuff So if you guys want to uh, Be notified when anything new comes out Then be sure to hit that subscribe button and If you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and until next time I will see you guys then